Hi, I'm John Martin, and I'm a part of the Global IT Convergence team. Today we are going to talk about implementing the new APAR netting features of EBS Release 12. Now, it's not uncommon that a company's trading partner is both a supplier and a customer. So therefore, the ability to net the payables invoice balances with the receivables invoice is a great enhancement. APAR netting allows you to pay the net difference between how much you owe the supplier and how much they owe you. The following three major parts are required to implement APAR netting. A netting bank account, a netting agreement, and a netting batch. The actual steps are 1. Netting bank account is used by the netting process. This bank account will create transactions without creating actual monetary disimbursements, which require interfacing with a physical bank. Create a bank account, which is tied to a separate netting bank and bank's branch, then assign a clearing account for the transactions and set the netting account flag to yes. Do not forget to set the access to payables, receivables, and the operating unit that can use the account. Create the bank account in the cash management module. Step two, assign this bank account to the seated receivables receipt class APAR netting. Step three, navigate to the receivables system options form. Check the allow payment of unrelated transactions checkbox. Step four, for every combination of a trading partner to net, a netting agreement must be in place which will decide which transactions for which trading partners are selected for netting and how they are ordered and processed once selected. Now, be sure to identify each payables invoice type and receivables transaction type which should be included in the search for netting. FYI, when the netting option chargeable subcontracting enabled is set to yes, this will select invoices that were matched to purchase orders with outsource assemblies by the netting process. When it is set to no, this will select invoices that were matched to purchase orders without outsource assemblies by the netting process. Now, if it is set to D, which means disregard, this means all eligible invoices will be selected for netting irrespective of whether or not they are matched to purchase orders. Since 1998, IT Convergence has helped dozens of multinational companies to implement Oracle to support business expansions. We offer both public and private classes to further help you understand these issues. I hope you have found this presentation useful, and please feel free to check out our other videos. To learn more about Oracle R12 Financials or its subledger accounting functionalities, please visit our website at www.itconvergence.com forward slash workshops. Thank you.